Alright, so everybody, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the most dangerous scam on Roblox. I've seen a lot of people talk about this, so I thought I might as well, I might as well do it. But basically, this scam can take your Robux without you even knowing. It can literally take your Robux from you literally just clicking the play button. That is right, everybody. That's how insane this, uh, this scam is. Basically, you click on play, and Thanos is literally just gonna snap your Robux out of your Roblox wallet or something like that, and you'll be left to wonder what happened. And so anyway, in this video, we're gonna be investigating that, see what a couple of programmers have to say about this, but anyway, let's get into the video. But before we get into that, if you have not already, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're notified of future videos. But anyways, let's get into the video. Now this whole crazy situation about the scam came up when a YouTuber, basically his name is Lost Motions, he created a video called, titled, This is how I got scammed out of 200,000 Robux. Don't join Roblox games. And he talks about how in the video, basically someone wanted him to jump into a Discord call with them inside Roblox, and somehow he managed to get him into a game, uh, into his Discord call. And basically, they went into a game. Now, first of all, this is super sus. Why would someone just call you and say, hey, I've never met you, come play my game for random stuff. You'll have tons of fun. And basically, after that, there was actually a G UI menu, it says play, and basically he said that after he clicked play, it, he nothing really happened, but he lost 100,000 Robux. He actually posted a basically a picture of the transaction. Now he lost 200,000 Robux because he clicked on it two times, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. Now, it's obvious that he wouldn't just like randomly like just give someone 100,000 robux by the way i'm pretty sure this is not inspect elemented because a lot of he's talked to a lot of other people in the star program they believe him and you know it seems pretty sus because you know awesome mini games don't purchase to donations and i'm pretty sure maybe he just maybe this is not true maybe he just randomly accidentally clicked on purchase something and maybe he just slipped up but Basically, some Roblox programmers, they basically talked about this, and basically, PZ Smistic, a programmer, said issue type, other impact, very high frequency, constantly, you know, and basically, yeah, he basically talks about that, and impact is very high, That's that means it's a very dangerous scam. Now, he goes on down to talk about expected behavior. Core GUI should never be able to be hidden behind user GUI. I think that's graphics you user interface something like that i don't know and it should never remain functional actual behavior there is a purchase prompt hidden behind the user gui that tr attempts to trick the user into buying an item now basically this is a pretty dangerous thing but basically a synchronous matrix another programmer he basically says important removal and security blah, blah blah he talks about all this stuff wait basically you can like help keep yourself safe from this but just you can you can pause the video and read that but let's get into some of the juicy stuff now this is pretty long but you know what we're gonna read through it. it's fine basically he said how did this happen this this script is inserted into your game and infects your game this script does a few things it first checks the integrity of the client by sending a remote but if not then they'll advertise to you advertising the bad slash infected pro products basically they're gonna actually I, I don't have any idea what that meant okay if they cannot advertise to you then they will attempt to, to teleport them to one of their own games basically in a random game i think they're infecting models now roblox might have fixed it by now but I, I don't know if they have because this they but basically this is very dangerous this could this scam has a lot of potential already and i don't mean in a good way basically this means they're gonna teleport you to one of their own game and they basically infect your game and say so, so, bleh, bleh. they basically show you infected products that's already pretty crazy so it could literally infect one of your models in your game so you know maybe some developer like if they have a game they might not even notice that this is happening and then they're gonna get bad reviews so just just be careful in all games like for example in piggy there's a menu prompt that says play that could one day could get infected and make you lose all your robux however i have no robux so what are they gonna get out of me information the zero day exploited the rendering engine built into the roblox client the zero day is basically they're talking about the scam thing 
That's the code, basically. This is done by spamming or using a large amount of text to overload the interface. Well, is this still 2009 or something? Roblox, what the heck? Why, why, haven't, why haven't you... How can how can just some kind of program just insert a bunch of text and you crash? Come on, Roblox, this is like 2021. Various UIs then start to be disabled. User interfaces and you the user inter interfaces. So basically, and eventually become invisible. Basically, this means that the Roblox Robux thing Cord UI, I think, it gets it becomes invisible somehow. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure Roblox should like upgrade their computers or some systems or something like that. The reason the hackers can show their GUI is because of the Z index behavior property. They're displayed on an entire different system, meaning one system can die whilst the other is displaying fine. Roblox GUI is still on the first Z index, meaning that the rendering ability for that Z index is broken, but not for the other Z index. I made I, that didn't really make make a lot of sense, but okay. Many anti-cheats use this to hide their scripts as when they're activated or viewed their client ends up being crashed and their top bar slash F9 console slash cord UI crashes together. This zero day essentially made the cord UI invisible, allowing the N exploiter to create their own interface over the top of a marketplace place GUI. Meaning that they could trick the client slash player into clicking that same marketplace purchase button as they're in the same position. This exploit has infected a lot of games, leading me to think it was a previous server side or exploit which has already infected infected games. They hook onto on unmuted default chat event and teleport the player to a new game. This game then forces them to essentially verify their client purchasing the asset basically it makes them like halt we need to like see your security stuff and then you press enter and basically they tell you to do capture and stuff you press enter and this actually takes away your robux now first of all if this ends up coming up in your game first of all do not click it i just want to say first of all search up on the internet you might not have enough time but it's worth it um, because if Roblox starts doing this stuff, they're probably just gonna do it on their website. They're not gonna do it in their game, okay? That's just stupid. So don't click on any of this stuff, no matter what happens. Now, that was pretty crazy. Now, let me know what you guys think about the scam down in the comments. As I said, the scam has a lot of potential. It could l literally, from joining a game, it could steal all your Robux and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty crazy. You could, it, it, literally anything could happen. Now, let me know what you guys think about the scam down in the comments. But anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!